Hey folks, uh, welcome to my channel, Money Me. I am Pat Dees. Where have I been? I haven't done a video in a while. Honestly, I've been just trying to kind of lay back and and watch what's going on with the market. The, the market, is, and if you look back, I did a video back in, I think it was February, yeah, February, March, about the, are we in a correction? And really, if you start looking at a lot of stocks, we are definitely have been in a correction. A lot of stocks have pulled back. You know, it's funny because I got people, I had talked about my loss on Roku, and two weeks later, the stock uh, was down. So sometimes uh, they say don't time the market, but timing is everything. So here we're recording this on May the 4th, 2021, and the Dow is down. The NASDAQ is actually down to 320 points, 2.5%. And, and as you can see here, I'm using the Weeble uh, desktop uh on, and there's a, there's a sea of red. What I wanted to talk about today was eBay. And uh, eBay came out with their earnings last week. And uh, their earnings were actually very good. And it hit the stock because of just simply because they said that this quarter, basically the second quarter that they're in now, they're probably going to fall a uh, 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 nickel short. So... Now, the, the stock did recover a little bit yesterday because they're talking about getting into collectibles and stuff like that. So I still like eBay, but I, th I think it's going to be one of those stocks that you're going to have to uh, the, to b uh, buy and sell because uh, it's just it's it seems now that what's going to happen is the resistance is going to be basically around the $65 area, which, you know, they're talking about break, basically breaking out to all time highs and and based on the chart and everything that, that and that's why you can't always go by the chart because the, um, y you know there's a lot of factors in mind as far as you know what makes a stock break out and stuff like that but i i'm still here um I'm, last month wasn't a good month january february was okay march was a good month but last month and i i, I had sold some ebay stock and took the money and put it in options and uh, that was a poor choice, and uh, I'm trying to give you guys realistic uh, um, things that I do. I don't. Um, this is not stock advice. This is not. This is stuff that I do, uh, trading and doing things. And uh, what I'm what I'm actually doing since I'm not doing as many videos, I'm actually cutting back because uh, I'm not trading as options as much because. You know, options are too volatile, and what's happening is the price that they're paying, they're they're um, they're overpriced, and you you get you get one move the wrong way, and basically your options are expiring uh, worthless. You know, today it's only down uh, fifty one cents, but you know, really to fill this gap back up, it's got a gap uh, sixty one eighty two, which is uh, another four dollars away. So as long as we don't really break down below, if we break down below this low of day the other day, uh, 55.09, then we, we probably could go back down to 51. And then maybe I would step in and actually buy. I still have um, 65 calls, but they're probably going to expire worthless next week. And I got in, honestly, because uh, even uh, – Pete Nigerian, the, the guy that's on um, CNBC, had mentioned that there was a lot of activity in the 68s. I think the thing is that people don't, they don't necessarily, he, I think he did disclose it, is, yeah, he probably lost money on it, but when your account is big enough, they could sell out of the money calls, like 70, 72, and then buy the lower ones and offset, the, so it, they're not as deep into it is for money they're, they're they're using the money for the sale that they buy the purchase so the ones that are now out of the money the 7072s are basically worthless right now and they bought the 68s so you know that that's a different strategy and, and you have to have a sizable account uh to be able to do that thing so i do still like ebay i am actually a, a person that does sell on uh, eBay, uh, a reseller. And uh, actually, I'm even looking right now, we've taken a small position, and I'll talk about that later in uh, Poshmark. And um, I mean, obviously, all, like all stocks, they could, it could, it's, it's basically getting to the point where it's near, 
its initial public offering. I mean, look, it's, it hasn't been a company long, but I like it. Uh, for the market cap is only three billion, so the potential for this company to grow and and um, there's just a lot of potential for growth there. Yeah, it might take years down the road for it to, but. You know this this stock a couple months ago was a hundred dollars and now we're sitting down at 30. we're we're in it for about 42 no 40 48 that's what we're in it for and i added more the other day at 42 so but if it drops near 35 would probably get into another 100 shares and I, I really like this one for the it has a large short position i really like this one for the potential uh, even the squeeze because like 25% of the company is short and but I th give you the, the advice I'd give some people now again I'm not a licensed broker or this is just for entertainment is tread lightly don't don't go all in on anything dollar cost averaging if you're doing it at work that don't matter because you buy when it's good you buy when it's bad and your average you average your price so all right guys I appreciate you giving me a thumbs up, a comment below, and subscribe to the channel and help me grow this uh, Money Me where we talk about all things money here. I am going to try to do more uh, content. I've been busy doing other things. And, again, i just kind of been taking a little bit of a uh, position of not really trying to because last month was <clears throat> just brutal on a couple stocks that uh, I was over trading. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.